Understanding autolytic debridement, our bodies are remarkably at healing. Autolytic debridement harnesses this natural healing ability. It's a process where the body naturally breaks down and removes dead tissue from a wound. This allows healthy tissue to grow, leading to faster uh, and more efficient healing. Think of it like gardening. Just as you might remove dead leaves to help your plants thrive, autolytic debridement clears away damaged tissue. This creates a fertile ground for new, healthy cells to flourish. Autolytic debridement relies on the body's own enzymes and fluids to soften and liquefy the dead tissue. This differs from other methods that use external forces or agents to remove the debris. This gentle approach promotes a moist wound environment, which is essential for optimal healing. It also minimizes pain and discomfort compared to some other debridement techniques. While the body takes the lead in autolytic debridement, certain dressings can assist the process. These dressings work by creating an ideal environment for the body's natural enzymes to function. Foams are a popular choice. They absorb excess fluid while maintaining a moist wound surface. Hydrogels, on the other hand, are particularly useful for wounds with minimal drainage. They donate moisture to the wound bed, further aiding the breakdown of dead tissue. Other options include hydrocolloids, alginates, and transparent films. Each dressing type has its strengths, making it suitable for specific wound characteristics and drainage levels. The choice of dressing depends on factors like the wound's location, size, depth, and the amount of exudate. Autolytic debridement versus other debridement methods. Autolytic debridement isn't the only way to remove dead tissue. Other methods include surgical debridement, mechanical debridement, and enzymatic debridement. Each method has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Surgical debridement involves the physical removal of dead tissue by a healthcare professional using surgical instruments. While fast, it can be painful and require anesthesia. Mechanical debridement uses external forces like wet to dry dressings or whirlpool therapy to remove dead tissue. This method can be non-selective, potentially harming healthy tissue. Enzymatic debridement uses topical medications containing enzymes to break down dead tissue. While effective, it can be costly and may cause skin irritation in some individuals. Autolytic debridement, in contrast, is generally painless, selective for dead tissue, and cost-effective. However, it is slower than other methods and may not be appropriate for all wound types. Choosing the right debridement method, autolytic debridement is a preferred choice for many wounds, particularly those that are not heavily infected or producing large amounts of exudate. It's often the go-to option for pressure ulcers, venous ulcers, diabetic ulcers, and burns. This method is particularly beneficial for patients who may not tolerate other more aggressive forms of debridement. This includes patients who are frail, have compromised immune systems, or experience significant pain. Autolytic debridement promotes patient comfort while facilitating the body's natural healing process. It's a testament to the remarkable ability of our bodies to repair and regenerate when given the right support. A gentle approach to wound healing. Autolytic debridement embodies a gentle yet powerful approach to wound care. By understanding this method and its nuances, we can empower ourselves to make informed decisions about our health. While this guide provides a comprehensive overview, it's crucial to remember that every wound is unique. The best approach to wound care should always be determined in consultation with a qualified healthcare professional. If you would like one-on-one -on -one help for your wound, consider booking an online consult with us so we can recommend the most appropriate course of treatment.